Hello and welcome to Coin Lady Channel. As a pivotal case the lawsuit between Ripple Labs and the US Securities and Exchange Commission SEC has garnered a lot of attention in the crypto space. At issue in the lawsuit is whether the SEC regulator considers the XRP cryptocurrency developed and sold by Ripple Labs to be a security. Both parties have submitted their final arguments, so the XRP community is waiting for a decision day. Please find below the most recent development in this case. John Deaton, an advocate for XRP, polled the XRP community for their thoughts on a possible verdict. The vote on December 28 received roughly 18,000 votes, with 59.2% favoring a resolution between the two sides and 40.8% choosing the winning option. Crypto enthusiast and content creator Ben Armstrong recently tweeted that the XRP lawsuit would be resolved in 2023. U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission Chairman Gary Gensler has announced his resignation. Armstrong claims that the current regulator head, Gary Gensler, will be forced to resign in the coming year. Earlier this year, the same kinds of claims were being spread around on social media. Gensler's resignation has been called for by the public for some time, even before the FDX crypto exchanges collapsed. The former banker on Wall Street is facing charges of corruption. Gensler has been the target of frequent criticism from the cryptocurrency community due to his repeated comments criticizing the way digital assets are managed and the SEC's reluctance to approve a spot Bitcoin ETF. Potentially, it could also put an end to the protracted criminal dispute between Ripple Labs and the SECC, setting an example for the entire cryptocurrency market. After an AMA with Charles Hoskinson of Cardano in December 2022, rumors circulated on Twitter that the lawsuit determining whether Ripple's XRP coin was an unlicensed security had been settled. He says he's heard that XRP and the SECC's lawsuit may be resolved by December 15th. Hoskinson later explained that he never gave out any hard facts, preferring instead to pass on information via word of mouth. This occurred after forecasts regarding the experiment's conclusion were made. Ripple's most recent request for a summary ruling includes a separate image for each page of the email that is referenced, and only two words have been blacked out. Deaton had a different opinion. According to him, XRP was mentioned in some of the correspondence. Deaton claims that if XRP had been discussed in the email, Ripple's legal team would have made note of it in the media coverage. It is currently unknown which side of the lawsuit the SEQ will be on because of a recent appeal to withhold him and documents before the next hearing. The latest correct ruling letter from Ripple includes a great picture. Ripple's letter alludes to four pages of emails, all but one of which have been heavily censored. Deaton has since abandoned this opinion. According to him, hints of XRP were hidden in the comments sections of draft emails. Deaton claims that Ripple's attorneys could have mentioned XRP in the articles if the topic came up in the emails. However, the SEQ recently filed an appeal to keep Hyman's records secret until after the next hearing. This leaves open the question of which details of the case will be kept under wraps. At the same time, in 2019 YouTuber Ben Armstrong elaborated on his previous negative stance toward XRP. On Twitter, one user posted an old video of Armstrong and asked if he thought the XRP network was crazy. XRP Diamond, a Twitter account, shared a video from 2018 in which BitBoy incorrectly identified the XRP network as a scam. However, as time has progressed, so have people and their styles. After reading the tweet, BitBoy responded with, this has become a video uploaded in September of 2019 and still available on my channel has my full acceptance. To put it bluntly, I despise XRP. I was responsible for selling every single meme. The fact is that people can learn something new and completely change their minds about something. Finding this via human means proves my cryptologic maturity, so thank you. Bitcoin elaborated that XRP has developed over the past few years, which has caused him to reevaluate his previous opinions. Notably, Armstrong's assessments of altcoins' performance have always been dubious. Bitcoin announced it could no longer buy any more Dogecoins immediately following the Twitter acquisition announcement earlier this week, as the entire cryptocurrency network transitioned from taking full advantage of the Dogecoin spike. Dogecoin, favored by Elon Musk, gained nearly 77% in value over the past week. 
Moreover, the questionable YouTuber had predicted that Cardano would surpass Ethereum in market capitalization a full month earlier than it actually did. He spoke up about the potential dangers of listing a DIA on FDX, which he believes could hurt Cardano. Based on the volume, it seems likely that FDX wants to encourage the closing of all ADIA positions held with defunct cryptocurrency dealer Voyager. In the evening of Tuesday, October 24 th. However, Boy wrote that with the listing of the Spark pair, FDX could force liquidation of all open ADIA positions with bankrupt crypto broker Voyager, who has an agreement to sell the asset approved in favor of FDX. This comes after famous crypto influencer Ben Bitboy Armstrong expressed concerns about the threat an ADIA listing on PFD could pose to Cardano in a tweet. The founder of Cardano, Charles Hoskinson, replied that the ADIA account for Airfare should not be liquidated if FDX adds ADIA to its list. Sam Bankman Fried, the director of FDX, has not yet made a statement. Armstrong submitted a LinkedIn application for a managerial position with Ripple Singapore on November 4, th, 2022. To this end, he looks up to Joel Katz, CTO of Ripple. Upon being promoted, Armstrong will be in charge of implementing Ripple's corporate strategy via multidisciplinary teams and fostering cooperation among Ripple's various geographic regions. Promotion of the annual plan also requires cooperation with the finance division. The company responded negatively to BitBoy by saying they would review his application. When the SEK vs Ripple's second coming in December 2022, investors are growing increasingly bullish on XRP's price, predicting a win for Ripple, Armstrong was told in a rejection letter he received just four days later. Thus, XRP saw $1.1 million deposited into the asset during the third week. Twelve organizations have filed amicus curiae briefs expressing interest in the case, including Coinbase and Wyoming Republican Senator Cynthia Lummies. In response, the SEC asked Judge Annalisa Torres to fix the deadline for all Amasai abstracts to November 11, 2022. He formally requested that the response summary submission deadline be set for November 30, 2022 before Judge Torres. By failing to register XRP as a security with the SEQ, the SEQ claimed in December 2020 that Ripple Labs and two executives misled XRP investors. The SEQ has accused XRP sellers CEO Brad Garlinghouse and co-founder Christian Larson of engaging in illegal activity because they knew selling XRP could be considered an investment contract but chose to proceed anyway. XRP, according to Ripple, is not a security because it is used for international transactions. Because of its international payment applications, it is also not subject to SEQ regulation. Ripple has also been an outspoken advocate for bringing cryptocurrency assets under the purview of the CFTC. The SEQ's aggressive litigation against Ripple has not deterred it from going after other players in the cryptocurrency industry. After filing a complaint against Library, a decentralized content distribution network, the SEQ prevailed in court on November 7, 2021. The SEQ claims in its complaint that the library token LPC was issued as an investment contract and that the library owes it to its investors to disclose all relevant facts. Since its launch of the LBP token in 2016, which occurred through centralized exchanges, library has sold over 50 million tokens to the general public. When the library network expands, the value of the TOKEN will rise, according to library. Even though the company included various disclaimers in its promotional materials, the court ruled that the library was aware that its tokens were investment vehicles and thus was required to provide complete notification to investors. The library is opposed to the ruling because it creates a dangerous precedent that has led to the majority of cryptocurrency being treated as securities in the United States. The ruling library's implication that she might file an appeal, if true, would add weight to the Ripple case and potentially alter the course of regulation for the cryptocurrency industry. To put it another way, the crypto sector is not going to quietly disappear. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you like my video.